In this tutorial, we are going to explore Bubble.us. This tool allows us to brainstorm ideas and create mind maps of our ideas. In order to begin, we just go to www.bubbl.us. brings us to this page. We can log in if we have already created an account, or we can click on Start Brainstorming. You do not have to have an account to use this tool. However, if you do log in and, and create yourself an account, it will give you more options to save and collaborate with others. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And now let's go ahead and look at the interface. You notice up here in the top right corner, uh, we have our account and sign in and out buttons. We also have three tabs. It opens up to My Sheets. If you have created an account, it allows you to save your work and work on existing brainstorming maps that you've created. Over on the left hand side, we have some tools that allow us to look at our page a little bit better. We can center our maps and unpin. I can zoom in or out. I can also set my print area here by saying fit all or to screen. And we start with our first bubble right here in the center of the page. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to rename my sheet and I'm going to call it States of Matter because that's what we're going to create today. Alright, my main idea is here in the center first thing I'm going to do is change the color so that it's a little bolder and you can see it better. I'm going to change the saturation here. Um, make it blue color and click OK. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to start here by typing my main idea. Now notice that I can either tab to create a sibling bubble or I can click enter to create what's called a child bubble, which I'm going to do. I'm going to click enter and automatically it's going to give me a new bubble. I'm going to go ahead and list solids as one of my categories that falls underneath states of matter. Now notice when I click off of that bubble and I mouse back over it, this top little bar allows me to move it around. If I click the X, it will delete it. When I click down here in the bottom corner, I can change the color. And instead of hitting Enter or Tab, I can also click on these buttons down here to create a new uh, balloon. This time I'm going to create a sibling balloon, so it also comes off of States of Matter, and I'm going to call it Liquids. And then I'm going to hit Tab to create another one for gases. Again, I can move these around a little bit. Now I'm going to click back on solids and I'm going to hit enter. And again, it's going to give me another bubble. So I'm going to choose rock and tab, and say sofa, computer, ice. Click over here on liquids and I'm going to enter. And notice that each time I create a new level of hierarchy, I get a different color. I'm going to tab, ju juice, oil, and milk. Enter, steam, Now I can move these around and notice when I drag my solids, all of those underneath also go with, I'm going to drag my gases up here. Alright, 
and let's say under milk I'm going to also put human. Now since human can fall in more than one category I can also go up here to gases and this uh, icon in the lower right hand corner I can click on it and I can drag it over here to show that they are also related. The same with solids to show that they are related as well. It falls under all three categories. Also I wanted you to notice that when I mouse over an icon over here on the right side of my screen it gives me a little help menu to show me what each one of these icons means and what they will do. Now we have two other tabs up here. We have friends and we have collaborate. I can invite friends to work on this project with me by uh, finding them by clicking in their name or by clicking down here to invite them by email if they do not currently have a, a bubble.us account. You can also go up here to collaborate and it shows that I do not have anyone collaborating on any documents with me so far. All right, down here there's a menu button. It allows me to export my document into a, a XML or an HTML format. I can also import or I can go to the embedded code here to place this on my uh, wiki or website. Alright, so I'm going to save what I've done so far in my Sheets tab. If I wanted to print directly from the web, I could set the print area, tell it to fit all. It's going to fit everything into my print, or I can tell it to print this whole screen. But I'm going to export this as a picture. I'm going to click Menu. Then next we click on Export. It's going to give us a few options. I can export as an image, XML or HTML. I am going to keep it as image and JPEG. Click OK. I'm going to save it. And now we can see what our diagram looks like. So as you can see, uh, Bubble.us is a very easy program to use. It um, be a great program for students to work on collaborating with each other on brainstorming ideas. I hope that you have gotten some ideas on how to use this great tool.